everyone um welcome back to the youtube channel today's video is going to be a really quick and easy one i captured this image in studio um and i did a very similar thing to, at a workshop um on the weekend and i thought i would go through just showing you how to um, fix this up and make it look like it's within a perfect circle um, if i zoom in so you can see the edge of the soft box and things like that and it's a bit messy um, which you can deal with or you can fix it up so that it looks like it's in a perfect circle so you can have it so that it's looking like it's within a perfect circle like this one okay so what i did um so i've got my background um i'm going to just recrop it um it's not straight um i don't know why i was standing with my head on a tilt or something i don't know what i was doing so i'm just going to recrop it and i'm doing an eight by ten um or a four by five depending on which way you want to look and i've got content aware fill selected on the fill um and i'm just going to let it do its thing for a minute okay so it didn't do a bad job there was a few bits that it sort of missed and all the rest of it but i'm not stressed on those so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select a new layer and i'm going to get my ellipse marquee tool and holding shift so that's going to keep it round and then using the space bar, I'm going to move it around. So it's just sitting on her hands. And I can touch that up. And just to the bottom of her feet, I could go perhaps a little bit lower. Oh. Just using the space bar just to move it around. That'll do. Okay, so what I'm going to do is right click and I'm going to go into fill and I'm going to go fill white because this is pretty much white. Now I've obviously knocked her out. So if I go and put a mask on there, now what I want to do is control I to invert the mask. Then what I can do with a nice big soft brush when I'm not knocking things over um, I can then with white I can paint in those bits now don't worry about her hand I'm going to fix that up in a minute and same with her feet so I've got a perfect outside of the circle now switching my brush over to black I can paint her hand back in And paint her legs and feet back in okay so what I'm going to do is make sure my hardness is up a fair bit I'm going to zoom in changing over to white And I'm just going to paint those areas back in. Mr. Heel, so I'm going to paint that back in. And I've gone over a foot a little bit. Oops. Because I can just then, switching between black and white, you can go through and clean things up. And if you have to zoom in a little more, you can do that. Whoop. If you wanted to go and make a selection with the pen tool or something, you could do that too. I'm just trying to be quick and easy about it but of course that then just takes longer um, and I've got to go back and I've got to fix up around that hand so whoops so what I'm going to do is just come in paint around that hand 
okay so that's the first bit so now what I want to do is I want to put another mask on go back into my elliptical tool again holding shift again and I'm get it get it to be roughly about the same size okay so now what I'm going to do I am going to feather this one so just five pixels just so it's a little bit soft then what I need to do is inverse it because what I want to do is I want to fill everything else in black so that then gives us a really really nice circle I have missed a little bit there so what I will do is just going to zoom out I'm just going to bring that in just a fraction okay and then on the black layer I just need to paint that black back in okay so now I've chopped her feet off so we're going to do the same thing I'm going to put a layer mask on I don't need to invert it this time I'm just going to come in with my brush and paint the feet and the box back in and this is where you can sort of see oh hang on my circle didn't quite match match up properly so I'm just going to fix that a bit I'm going to soften my brush now and I want to paint that box back in I don't want to paint in too much of the background because I've actually got a um, stand from the whoop, light so it's just bouncing backwards and forwards between black and white and shooting in might have to touch that up a little bit my circle doesn't quite match I'm trying to do it in too much of a hurry okay so what I'm going to do grab my black grab my marquee tool just bring it in so that it matches so I finally after a little bit of mucking around I went and got that done um, I haven't really done anything else to the image um, because I liked the way that it was lit on her face I extended the white a little bit past so it looked like she was reaching out um, but you can still see her feet and all the rest of it so that's pretty much the finished one um, it's still probably not perfect oops if I'm on the right layer um, and I like I said you can go backwards and forwards you can muck around with it and do all sorts of things um, but it's up to you how much time you want to spend on it um, if I had probably done it and taken a little bit more time to start with um, I would have got a better result in the first place but I see I'm fiddling around again now and doing more damage than I should because I'm not really watching what I'm doing so that's it for today um, our fabulous model for this shoot was um, Jolie Nugent uh, we had a lot of fun shooting directly into um, the light so this was a um, great big giant octobox um, which almost was as big as um, or as tall as Jolly is so that's it for today's video um, I hope you enjoyed that um, thanks for watching don't forget to like uh, maybe save it for later don't forget to subscribe and share it with everybody so um, I'll see you next time bye for now